Okay, let's go ahead and put together this little jack-in-the-box card. I've already prepared my panels for the outside, the inside, and the pop-up, and I have folded along all the score lines. So um, that's where I started. I also have a rubber band here. That rubber band should be about seven inches long when it's cut open like that. Uh, so let's just go ahead and assemble the card. There's really nothing terribly tricky about it. You'll need a couple of pieces of scotch tape. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my rubber band. I'm going to thread it through the top hole on one side, down through, back in through the bottom hole like that, and up to meet where the top hole is. I'm not going to run it through again. And then just kind of hold that in place and tape it down. It's okay to go onto the tab. Just want to make sure you've got a good taping on there. All right. At that point, let's go ahead, now that we've tested our rubber band, and put the insert on. So face it toward the front, so you're going to see the back side now. Just slide it up like this, and you're just going to fold it over. Um, you're going to fold over the top tab and then you're going to fold it over a second time and this is just going to make a nice little pocket for that rubber band which is now running through. You can do this before you put on your rubber band if you know you've got the right size. Then you can glue this tab down Again, I'm doing that before I adjust the rubber band on this side. I just want to make sure that the rubber band was long enough to fit. Okay, when we put this in, the rubber band will still be able to move, but I want to make sure that that is sealed down very tight. Okay, and then we can still move this along the rubber band if we need to center it, which I think we will. So that looks pretty good. Maybe a little more this way. Okay, so when it's stretched out, it should be somewhere in the middle like that. Again, through the top hole, to the outside, and then back in through the bottom hole. Try not to twist up your rubber band too many times. It will work more smoothly that way. Okay, then at that point, Make sure the rubber band is taut, but you also are going to need enough stretch to be able to move it all the way down. So it shouldn't be stretched, but it shouldn't be shouldn't be loose either. So just find that happy medium and then fold this up and tape it. If your rubber band isn't the right size, um, it could cause trouble. Let's see, this one doesn't need to be quite that long. A little piece here. And I'll trim off this extra piece up here when I'm finished. Okay. This is going to be on the inside, so you're not going to see the tape. I um, may as well reinforce it a little. Okay. Clip off that extra rubber band. So that's, that's the shape now. What I didn't do is, um, I should have probably folded it here just to make sure that it was still nice and tight, but it's good. Um, so that's what it's going to look like when it's popped up. When you do your panels, make sure that you, most of your picture is up toward the top because otherwise it's uh, going to get hidden. It doesn't pop up the bottom inch or so. All right. So the only other things that you need to do now are put on your panel. So the inside panel, I'm using this one. It's a little hard to see. I used a pen. Let's see if I can do that. Uh, it's a little hard to see there, but you can see that the writing is uh, written in red pen. In the updated SVG file, I put a kind of a lot of different options and you can try out which ones work for you whether you want to do a stencil type cut use a pen or do a print then cut 
all of those are fine. Just center this in here. So now we've got our the inside of our card. All right. Now that that's done, we can either glue this tab or we can just go ahead and do the top up here. I'm going to glue the tab first, um, only because I can bring my top down then and not put it on upside down or something. Okay, you're going to want to push this tab all the way over so it's flat there, and then fold down just this first tab that you have the glue on. And uh, let me get my mat here so that I don't get glue on my black surface. And just press that down good. This is like a very tiny, uh, small whip box card. So you've probably done those before. All right, so here's our card. In order to close the top, you'll want to reach in from the bottom. If you try to push down from the top, um, it's going to cause trouble. It, it's not going to it's going to try to bend the top. So it really is easier to reach in from the bottom and pull down. Also because of our folds down there. And once you get it down there, uh, just press on it to be able to close it. Then fold your lid over, your top over, like that. Okay. Then we're just going to put our Pop on like this, and we'll have our card finished. Just center it in here. And you'll be able to put that inside of your envelope. Um, and when they take it out, hopefully, all will go well. And when they open it, it will pop up. So that is the uh, Jack in the Box card. Okay, if you find that it curves too much when you have it pulled down, what you can do is um, tape a skewer. If I can get the picture here. Just tape, tape a skewer along the back from top to bottom. Um, that will keep it from curving as much. That's up to you. Um, it's just one that sometimes with the rubber bands, if they're a little too stiff, when you pull it down, it tries to to curve the card and so it doesn't really end up, it, it, it causes this to bulge. So if you don't like that, you can try the little skewer trick. Um, it won't affect the way it works, it still works just fine.